guys welcome to Smart Gaming Center. Today we will go to Science Everyday Life textbook uh, class. class 7 mm, Unit 1 Food Chapter 1 Nutrition and Plants In this chapter you will learn Nutrition Autotropic Nutrition Heterotropic Nutrition Replenishment of nutrition in the soil, living things and organisms have some basic characteristics that differentiate from non-living things. This is called life characteristics. That means living things have some basic characteristics that will differentiate from non-living characteristics. These characteristics are called as life characteristics. So we will see the example nutrition respiration, growth, response to stimuli, etc. You have more living things have more characteristics so that we have more things so that it's etc <laughs> okay let's go inside the chapter first one nutrition nutrition so that nutrition is a organic nutrition okay let's see that organism need energy to live and grow this energy is obtained from food the substance broken down by chemical process in the body of an organism to give energy is called food so and they are saying that organism needs f needed energy to live and grow and grow so that mm, so that they need energy from where do we get energy we get energy from food all the living organism get energy from food substance which is broken down chemically in our body will give energy to organism and that is called food and the next line is the next line is the process by which food is taken in by an organism and used by its body is called nutrition the process by which food is taken means uh, the process is that the organism takes food for its body is called nutrition so that we define the nutrition so that this is an important point there are two moods of nutrition autotrophic and heterotrophic the autotrophic and heterotrophic in plants we will go deep into it next autotrophic nutrition green plants make their own food through a process called photosynthesis photo light synthesis to put together that means green plant make their own food in a process called photosynthesis so what is meaning of photosynthesis means photo means light synthesis means to put together okay next we go to next line oh, one second where is that one Mm, uh, now next line is that the mode of nutrition in which an organism makes its own food is called autotrophic nutrition mm. in the mode of nutrition that means organism don't want to eat its food to make its own food without any sources that means the human will eat uh, vegetables fruits not like that it will make its own food by its own powers so those are called autotrophic nutrition organism that follow the autotrophic mode of nutrition are called autotrophies so that organism which follows autotrophic nutrition means the mode of nutrition which is followed by autotrophies is called autotrophs auto self troop nutrition to self troop nutrition that means they are saying and defining that auto means self troop means nutrition let's we go into a uh, activity and this in this activity we are going to prove that the green plant contain chlorophyll so that we will study fully so that the aim is to show that the green plant contain chlorophyll the material needed is a leaf with two colors mm, uh, two colors means we can take some hibiscus and coleus and a beaker we need and a beaker stand bunsen burner we need that will get in a labs only or we should buy it test tube 
water alcohol and iodine solution iodine solution will get in lab uh, or you should buy in some shops so okay let's we'll go into method in this method we will see that place a beaker so that here is the beaker place a beaker about three foot full of water means we should place a beaker about three quarters of the earth like that you should place a beaker about three only some of the parts should be empty and we should boil it we should boil it and we should place it on the stand so that the Bunsen burner will touch the glass and it will boil it uh, place the leaf in this water about two minutes to soften the leaf so place the leaf so that the leaf gets softened and take the leaf out and put it into test tube about three fourth of full of alcohol so that they are saying uh, we should take out the leaf and put the leaf into a test tube which is three fourth of alcohol place this test tube in very hot water so that we should replace inside the um, beaker that is very hot water for 10 minutes and the, uh, when the alcohol becomes warmer it will remove the chlorophyll from the leaf and it will make almost colorless that means it will make almost color means, means pale white and we should take out the leaf and the air four drops of iodine solution on its surface Here we should take out the leaf and uh, put the drops of iodine solution on it so that we will get an ob observation on adding iodine solution the colorless portion shows no change means adding a iodine solution to this col colorless that means pale white no nothing will happen it will be like that only and uh, there is another leaf no? uh, which is green like that only if you put in that it will turn blue black this is because of starch present in the green leaf that means chlorophyll that means chlorophyll thus green parts of the leaves contain chlorophyll can photosize and make this so, so that uh, when the green things that means the chlorophyll is there they can make they can make the photosize and make the food that means they can process the photosynthesis and make the food. now we will go to the next next title photosynthesis the term photosynthesis was coined by charles ray Barnes in 1893 so uh, the term photosynthesis was coined by Charles Reed Barnes. Uh, this is the main thing. In 1893, this is also the main thing. So that mark this. And plants take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And water from the soil. Water reacts with carbon dioxide in the presence of light. Example, sunlight and chlorophyll to produce sugar and oxygen. The sugar so produced is stored in the form of starch in various parts of plant and oxygen is released so that the term photosynthesis are coined by charles Lane Barnes in 1893 we know that uh, check this diagram uh, check this diagram uh, we will get that it will take in light and and the water from the roots see the roots are in the soil so that they will give water and nutrition and the water reacts with the carbon dioxide and uh, it will release oxygen they are saying that the plant take uh, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water from the soil and light from the uh, sun so that the water reacts with the carbon dioxide and, re and releases uh, oxygen the sugar is produced the sugar is produced in this process and it is stored in a form of starch and it is stored in the form of starch and uh, there is a reaction that uh, take place during photosynthesis so that we can write in a short form that here i have marked it carbon dioxide plus water in presence of light and chlorophyll sugar plus oxygen that means carbon dioxide plus water means that the carbon dioxide and water will, which will react in presence of light and chlorophyll this light and chlorophyll to get sugar and oxygen 
The process of using the energy of light to convert water and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen is called photosynthesis. The process of using the light energy to convert water and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen is known as photosynthesis. Condition necessary for photosynthesis. Let's check it out. The general condition necessary for photosynthesis are in the presence of green pigment. That means the green pigment uh, should be in the in the leaf, which is called as chlorophyll, and it needs light. And there should be the availability of carbon dioxide, and there should be availability of water. That means normally there should be a water. Next we will go to chlorophyll. I will say that pigment um, is the that means pigment is the dictionary word is a natural occurring substance and give a partially color to a plant or an animal part. But the pigment is a natural occurring substance. Means in plant, uh, some of the plant will be red, some of the plant will be blue due to this pigment. In our human mm. skin also there is pigment, so that our skin is skin color only. Next, chlorophyll. It is usually present in the leaves in structure called chloroplast. That means it is usually present in the leaves in the structure called chloroplast. It is usually present in the leaf. That is chloroplast. Check it out. Here is the air space, vein, chloroplast in the cells. You can draw this diagram. Light. Light energy is absorbed by the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll absorbs light energy. Fact 5. Let's see it. On an average, there are about 5. How much is this? 5 lakh chlorophyll per square millimeter of a leaf. On an average, there is 5 lakh chloro last per square millimeter of a leaf oh. then there should be more that means per square millimeter means the leaf should be the chloroplast should be more okay let's we go into another activity so in this our aim is to find that the that is the light necessary to process the photosynthesis so material needed is green plant black paper, scissors and clip so method is to place the plant in the dark corner for three you can place it in dark room or in, in the dark corner of for three days pluck a leaf that means we should uh, pluck a leaf from that plant and test it and test it for starch to confirm whether it is full starch free so that we should test that the leaf is fully starch free so that after testing cover a part of it that means we should cover like this after covering it that means we should cover it in black paper not in any color paper now we should place the plant in the sunlight at least 6 hours we should place that means we should wait for it more days and hours and again we should pluck a leaf which is covered in uh, black paper and remove the stick and uh, again put the diode in solution so that the portion of leaf that was covered shows no change that means the portion of leaf that was covered by black paper doesn't show any change when iodine solution is either uh, which portion is not covered it will show black blue that means as there is no starch formation in the cover part as there is no starch in the cover mat this proves that the that the photosynthesis needs light next we will go to carbon dioxide it is obtained from the atmosphere to small opening called stomata Singular stoma mostly present on the under sea. 